Hey everyone, my name is Sean Arnold and welcome to another episode of Tri uh, Dangin Romper Trigger Happy Havoc and the first ever episode of Deadly Life. In the last episode, tragedy struck and we lost not one but two characters on the main roster. We lost Junko who is laying here impaled on the ground and also our main assistant Sayaka. So um, if you guys haven't seen those previous episodes, tough, big spoilers for you. <laughs> Because, uh, like, like he, he, oh, yeah, by the way, I'm here still, but, um, <laughs> yeah, I'll be uh, the, whole, the whole thing I'm saying, like, if you're watching this, why, why are you watching this? Go watch the other episodes if you haven't. Absolutely, definitely watch the last episode, which I think is going to be called, well, I don't know how it's going to be called just yet. Arby, it's been yeah. two days since we last recorded the last episode. Yeah, so, uh, let's, let's catch up a little bit. Uh, what happened is that, uh, I'll explain what we're going on here. Um, what happened is that uh, early this morning we have found uh, we kind of uh, the cast that everyone started speculating of who's maybe keeping us captive here, and they thought of an interesting person by the name of Genocide Jack. Which Genocide Jack in I this universe, about that. Genocide Jack in this universe is known as a serial killer who who is famous all around the news and the internet, leaving. Leaving a sign note as blunt, leaning a sign note is called uh, letters that spell the word bloodlust in the victim's blood everywhere of the scene. Goes in, goes in, goes out, never seen. And uh, after that, it seems that one of the one of our characters was not at the dining hall. Well, two of them. That being Kyoko here, and. Actually, no, it wasn't Kyoko. Uh, Byakuya and, Sai and Sayaka. We went. We rushed to uh, Makoto's room and found that she was dead in the bathroom. Hmm. Someone stabbed her. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's a whole lot of details. I totally forgot. I forgot that Bayaka was. Uh, Bayakuya was the last person. This is why. This is why it's so hard to take a break from this game because it's just so. There's so much you want to hold on to. And literally, literally between the, uh, the last time we recorded and uh, this episode, I have just been going through uh, evidence in my mind, just thinking, what could it be? And I'm telling you what, I have no idea whatsoever. As, as well as, well, the person that's dead on the floor. Which was a huge shocker, poor Junko. Uh, Junko pretty much... Carry on. Yeah, uh, Junko, everyone gathered into the... Everyone gathered into the gym because, um, well, Monokuma, Monokuma called everyone to the gym. And, fortunately, sadly, Junko broke the rules with violence against the headmaster. And she was stat and she was impaled with multiple spears of the magical spears of Gungnir. Mm -hmm. So, um, but we now, um, have to get to do a class trial. And but before we can do a class trial, this episode is all gonna be about investigating clues towards the Which, murder. I think the best thing to do, we need to head to the scene of the crime. We need to head to your. We need to head to Makoto's room. So let's head there now. Are, are you sure? Because there's something I really want to do. What do you want to do? I really want to see that handbook that uh, Monokuma gave us. Uh well, sadly, that's uh, that's uh, we don't get that yet. Oh, come we have on! To go. Dang it! We have we have to go to the. Oops, sorry. Hmm. I didn't mean to talk to her. Oh yeah, we need to talk to Kyoko. Do we? Yeah. Oh okay. Cool. Before we start searching, oh, you're, uh, who's Kyoko again? I it's me. You. Yeah, Go you were. Before we start searching for Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? Hmm. You'll th you'll think you're putting someone on guard duty so no one can disturb the area, uh... aren't you? After all, if the corporate decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Okay, then we can let Mondo look after the scene. <laughs> well, no, we just can't leave him there alone. What? What? Why the hell not? Stop talking. <laughs> Is it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for God, Dooney, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. 
What? what fuck you! <laughs> so then. Fine. I'll stay there on guard duty as well. That way, there is no problem. Wow, the two strongest guys on Stargy. It's a chick! Two player co op base defense with the two of them. With their stats, they're totally OP! Since we won't be able to investigate, help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But... Uh, I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Right, so, uh... It's time, uh, alright, time to head to, time to head to this cr scene of the crime. Okay. Uh, I think, I think. You think? Uh, 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 well, I don't know if it's gonna let you or not. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's gonna let you, so let's go, let's go to one of the... Oh, well, I guess it'd be my room, isn't it? Yeah, but we're gonna have to go to the one of the squares. One of the squares? Oh, I see. Because the because those are the teleport points. I can't teleport. Yep. So you can for this you can't. So you gotta walk there. Uh, where's the door? Remember, you can press B. Just a second. Oh, she says. Hold oh, on. there's still oh, there's st oh there's still more. We still need to discuss more. Okay, fine. Let's talk to Kyoko again. Okay, I th I thought there's more. We're gonna find out who the killer is. Because if we don't, we're all going to die here. Uh, what am I missing? Oh, so I guess, uh, do we have, is there anything else? Are we Junko? Uh, we, talked, we looked at her already, we did it last time as well. Uh, maybe... Maybe we have to do everyone once, maybe. <laughs> let me out of here! Come on, man! Let me out of here! Come on, someone let me out! Uh, maybe... Um... Consciousness has crashed. Restarting now. Please wait a moment. Okay, so uh, uh let, let's talk to Byakuya, maybe. Someone. Oh uh, yeah, maybe. Okay. Oops. Sorry, Taka. What the heck? Uh, yeah, because Byakuya seems the most like. <clears throat> we need to hurry and figure out who. The... Uh. Okay, maybe yes. press. Yeah, she what? definitely. What? She definitely wants to discuss more. I'll talk to you again then. Anyway. What? Huh. Maybe this is weird. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> oh right, we need Oh wait. I forgot. Yeah. We're gonna get our first evidence here. Eyewitness eyewitness oh, accounts. Who <laughs> uh, knows what? Oh here we go. I was looking through the mono monokuma file we had received. And I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? Huh? What are you talking about? Go ahead, take a look. Noticed oh, anything God. interesting oh, about where God. Sayaka died? She died in Makoto's dorm. Oh, God. Well, she's right. <laughs> then, could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. <laughs> Hold on a second. You got it all wrong. For, for just one night, I, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. You you expect us to b believe that? Just tell us that it's truth. The look in everyone's eyes had got done a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned. In other words, you think I did it? This is going to make the investigating hard. So then, are we all done talking? We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. We have to collect clues to form a foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong, so well, do I really have to say any more? Perhaps you be. I'd rather you didn't. No. Goodbye. Everyone, pray for good luck. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going too. And just like that, Kyoko, he, just like Kyoko, he was gone before we realized Yo. it. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I better head to the scene of the crime. Ah, mm. oh, that's right. Hey, damn it! Let me just say this right now. If if whatever son of a bitch did this is right, is here right now, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence, you're fucking dead. They better not let me find him. I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn skull in myself. Wow. I'm serious. I will fuck them up. Jeez, he's intense. Oh, <laughs> nice. <God. laughs> Little is deadly words hanging in the air. He and Sakura ran off. So, um... But 
I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know, and we're gonna investigate a murder. How do we even do something like that? Anyway, we don't really have to do anything in particular. We already know who killed Sayaka. What are you implying? This is very it suspicious. Was you. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. <laughs> Woo! D -d don't come any closer! Are you going to kill me next? So, um. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not for sure that Makoto's guilty yet. Um. That's true. We might. We may as well at least check. Just to check. <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I couldn't help to. I couldn't help investigate. Huh. Wait, why not? <sighs> I'm not good, good, good with blood. All it takes is one glimpse and I black out. Oh, yeah? Well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyway. Alright, I guess I better get going. Wait, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. But it was pointless. Everyone had already left. And their parting looks at me had still been filled with this with suspicion. Does everybody want really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they've got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise everyone will. Execution is execution. Execution! Electric chair! Bzz, bzz, poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Madakuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who killed Sayaka? Cool. Right, finally, All right. we can finally get into the investigation. It's and, and, and it's time for the investigation mode. Now we can look through the Monokuma file. The victim was Sayaka Maizono. The time of death was estimated to be about 1.30 a.m. Hmm. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab to the wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no, eye, no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow, I have to find the truth so that we can all survive. And for Sayaka. I have to find out how she was killed. All right, so we got our first truth bullet. Truth bullets are are pretty much our evidence. Where we have different pieces where we have different truth bullets and if you know Phoenix right, it's pretty much our evidence on how it'll give us an explanation of what of um pretty much what Monokuma was able to was able to um, scuffle up together. Okay. Now um <laughs> I'm sorry I, that t I'm sorry that took so long. I know you want to get into it. No, uh, no, no. I, we, have, I, we, have, we, have, that, we have to leave now. I have a question, but I don't know if it, I should ask it. And that is, uh, I, I you, mean, you, you, you can you, don't, you can ask it if you want. I'll get, I'll decide if I will, uh, want to answer it or not. The uh, question I have is, uh, can uh, oh, oh, apparently, uh, fucking hero is uh, praying to Buddha right now. <laughs> is um. Can Monokuma be trusted with this evidence? Yeah, that's exactly what uh, I was wondering. <laughs> um, like, can I tr uh, trust? The you know what? I'm not gonna answer. So, um, I because this is the thing. Mika Monokuma has the security cameras. He already knows who he. And like I said, Monokuma already said that he would not. That he would not. Um. Monokuma would not mess with the um, would not mess with evidence. Okay. He wants he wants to make it at least a fair trial. All right. So. Uh, and also, are are you still able to? Uh, are you still able to uh, fast travel or no? I'm not able to know. All right. So let's just walk there then. Just uh, B. That now I just went to the gym. Oh, booger. Okay, let's go back then. Yeah, 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 you're gonna have to get into your mind that B is pretty much one of the best ways. It's one of the best ways that you're actually gonna leave. All right then. So always uh, be first. All right, then. time. First of all, I should hit to So I guess they really want to kind of direct us where we should go first. Well, yeah, that's where. That's pretty. Oh, oh, we're already gonna be there. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
All right, so we're at the room. Okay. This might, that might reveal something new. Okay, so there's a lot to go by there. So the door was locked. Um, it's locked from the inside, and it can only be opened with a key. So let's take a look at the key first. There's a key on the ground. It has my name on it, so this must be my room key. If I remember correctly... We gave Sayaka the room key. Yes, we did. And I had hers, and she had mine. So, what's weird, what that means to me is um, if the door was locked from the inside, it means no one could have accessed the room with the key because it was already on the inside. Therefore, she had to have let someone in. Or they had to force their entry, if, this, if that's possible. Although there's no signs of forced entry. How did the killer get into my room in the first place? Could Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. Except because she said that she... She wouldn't let any. She wouldn't open the door for anyone, even if it was Makoto. Which means, which means that uh, someone had to force their way in. After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or opened it for any reason. Or maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something. No, that's not possible either. Because how could she have dropped it outside and then let herself in? Zaka was in here when we switched rooms, and with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around. So she couldn't have dropped it. So how did the killer get in? Good so question. now we have our next. So now we have our next evidence, which is the switching rooms. Um. Uh, hmm. So whatever. Look at the door. Uh, okay. You, uh, yeah, that that's it. just leaving. Uh, let's check the. Uh, I guess. Hmm. I mean, you can do whatever you want. So let's check the sword. I'm... Um. I, I will see if there's any signs of usage. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, it's been taken out of its sheath. I hadn't actually looked at the blade until now. I wouldn't, shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold too. On top of that, some of the gold coated has come off of the parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. If I remember, the coating sticks to you even if you touch it a little bit. So, uh, someone used this sword. I'm going to guess it's Sayaka. Just assuming so. Um, uh, for, cause she wanted uh, it it's, it's the. Alright, so we better check everything. Uh... Lip rollers moved. Um, this should be important. Oh, more important than I thought. Looking at the lip roller, it looks like there was way less than there was before. Did Saika see how dirty my room was and decided to clean up a little? No, um, I have a feeling that's related to the gold. Did someone use it? So where's um, let's. Hmm. I want to find a dustbin, but oh, there it is. Uh, that... can't look at it though. Weird. Nope. Uh, I guess look at the bed? Yeah, absolutely. Let's just check it uh, out. Actually, let's look at the drawer. The toolkit is fine. The toolkit has not been used at all. <clears throat> Yo. Yeah, seriously. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo. What? We what? ain't uh, exactly in the mood for building fucking furniture, right? So you haven't used yours either, then? What? Not what? just me. Nobody busted their house yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way, none of the guys have opened their toolkits yet. Cause, like, why the hell would we? Hmm. Okay, at this point in time, uh, I'm getting a feeling that the killer is a female. And, um, I'll, I'll come to why that is later on, but I'm just getting a feeling that it's a female, but I'll, I will say why later on when we come to the right. Sayaka. There are gouges on the bed like someone attacked it. What the hell happened there? I'm gonna get those slashes from the sword because they're pretty damn long. There are scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? It absolutely is. So there was definitely some kind of fight in the room. Damn it, I was right there in the other room. If only I'd heard something. Wait. That would have not been possible. Huh? huh. Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. Oh, I didn't remember that. So something could happen in the room next to you, and there's no way you could know. Well, perhaps this was another of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. Hmm. Evidence of struggle. All right, what's in this black shadowy area here? Hmm. Nothing at all. Uh, okay. that's that's the bed. <laughs> uh, uh, why don't we look at the sheath? Yeah, good idea. This is the replica sword I brought back. This is the sheath. And plus, the sword, sword's been taken out, so it's just a sheath, but... Huh? There's some scratches on the sheath. They must have been made with something sharp. How did the sheath get scratched up in the first place? 
Even if someone uses sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're going to attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way, and you could just slide it in off in the middle of the fight. So why are there scratches on the sheath? That's interesting. I can only speculate for that one. I have no idea why there'll be scratches on it. And if someone really just didn't know that there was a sheaf on it. <laughs> um, hmm. Uh, I think there's only one other... The scratches yeah, on the yeah. wall. Yep, evidence of struggle. Yeah, so we can skip that. Uh, I mean, there's the notepad. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You keep pressing B by accident. Yeah, I'm mashing. <laughs> It's the notepad fine. is still here, but I don't think it's relevant right now. Fine. Oh, okay. Uh, um, let me just check this so there's only. The corner. Uh, why don't we? Uh, why don't we talk to everyone then? Maybe Kyoko found something. All right, let's do Sakura first. Do you think I'm guilty too, hey. dude? I really don't care if you oh. think I'm guilty. I'm gonna skip through that. Um, Mondo, you way. know I realized something when I was on guard duty. Oh, so this is you. Yeah, the killer could have complete. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Or anyone found well, the body, I mean. Yeah, it was me who found the body. And if I'm the biggest suspect. There's a trash room in the door. Here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. Yeah, that's definitely possible. You son of a bitch. That dirty bastard! Oh, shit. Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. You're fucking dead. So if I ever find the son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in! But what if it was a girl that did it? Yo. That'll that'll get all sorted out when the time comes. <laughs> right, I really wanted to look at the trash can, but um, it's not uh, there's me, no, so uh, this is yeah. not relevant. But uh, yeah. Uh, so only other person that we haven't talked to is Kyoko. Right, so it's a Kyoko then. Hey Kyoko, I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area, but. What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no, not really. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of my room. Did you lose a contact or something? Oh, you're an idiot, Makoto. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. Did she find something? But a few seconds later, she suddenly stood up straight and said, Listen. Are you a clean freak? Huh? No, I don't think so. But what? Nodding, she glanced around my room one more time. I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. Interesting. What is it? So... I've searched your floor from corner to corner to another, and I didn't find a si one single strand of hair. Huh. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, not one hair from you. And even though you've been living in here. You know, now that you mentioned it, I noticed something while I was looking around here before. It looked like my lint, the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it to... I see. Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. Wow, this is way more in-depth than Phoenix right? It's already. <laughs> in other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Sayaka or the killer? Well, well, that's the question, isn't it? All right, so we got interesting. Yep. So we got some more evidence, which now I think the best place the is to check out the check out the check out the uh, scene of the crime. Right. Before we do, I just want to see one thing. I want to see everyone's hair in the report card. Just want to see everything. No, I'm not getting anything just yet. Um, nah, not getting anything just yet. Okay. Alright, time to head into the bathroom. Yep. No, I can't let it go with me. Let's go. Let's just go. Oh, man, this is such a sad sight. Okay, so the reason why I think it could have been a girl is because of where the knife wound is. I know it's a very, very... I'm drawing a long straw here, but um, it's in a very critical spot. I mean, yeah, the knife is placed in pretty much the, the abdomen, abdomen. Which is deadly. If you get stabbed there, you're pretty much done. Yeah. Looking at her made it perfectly clear. La la la. We are so sad it's over. I'm sorry, but let's speed up. Why did Sayaka have to die? I just want to find the clues. Let's go. 
Okay. Alright, time to oh, investigate. Oh my god, what's that on the wall? Oh my god. I don't know. What the heck? One, one, zero, three, seven. Does Psycho do this? What the heck could that mean? Well, I think maybe... Um... Probably the knife itself. Yeah, we can only check out the knife. Did I check that? Well, no, you're looking. Oh, uh, damn it. Yeah, it, it it's all right. Uh, let's check. I told about yeah, uh, yeah. We're very emotional. Please, I pulled out the file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object had been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where did they get it? That's a good question. That's definitely something I should look into later, because there's not anything we were given. According to the, the Monokuma file, Sayaka's right wrist is broken. Her wrist sure does all this gold on her wrist. That's for sure. Um, there's something sort of glittery on her, there too. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is... Ha! Huh, there's some blood on her left index finger, but that's it. The palms of her hands are totally spotless, so how come only her left finger? Right, so there's uh, she must have been hit by the sword at some point, which is strange because I thought she would have used it. And obviously she used that finger to write with. Okay, the stab wound in her stomach is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she had already been killed? So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Saika in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom when he inflicted a deadly wound. Okay. But I feel like that's all we can investigate here. Oh, that's sad. I thought we were going to do a lot more. Well, I guess we can't touch it. Alright, well. It, would seem... it looks like you found it, right, Makoto? The bloody numbers. That's most likely Saika's dying message. Okay, so it was really her final message. As it was as if though she wrote it with life itself. Right. She often talked like an aspiring poet. But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? I have no idea what that could possibly mean. So... The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wants to use her body to block them. Hmm. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her, it means she must have wrote them by turning her hand towards the wall. Right. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? Well, think about it. Makoto. She would have done it the other way around. Ha. Huh, okay. Go. It's Leon. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh, okay, okay, all right. That, yep, yep, yep. Okay, so we have a, that is a huge lead. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. you never even noticed the door's broken. Oh, yeah. Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? What? Gets stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit the framework quite right. When I tried first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you know the trick, it opens no problem. Bathroom door frame has been added to the truth bullets section. Of your handbook. Correct. But the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice? Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll be see. I know I'm not doing two voices, but man, I'm just way too into it. Uh. I understand. I did what Kyoka said and shut the bathroom door. The doorknob. It is tilted. So did someone have to break off the doorknob? The door was practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? I know why it's like that. It would seem... Someone must have used a screwdriver. Yep, it's yep, it's a boy for sure, or something similar to unscrew it. Whatever it was, it's obvious this was int intentional. Why would someone want to do that? So I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girl girls' bathrooms. He thought this was her room. Oh, wow. But then how, why would he have thought that? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. And as stuck struck with a realization, she shot a question at me. Just a second. 
You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? No, no we told Sayaka. So what you're so that's it. That's it. Hmm? Interesting. She had the slightest hint of smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all of this. Then that clears it up. I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. <laughs> I, I, as if forgetting I was ever there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Bathroom doorknob had been added to the bullet section. I still don't really understand any of this, but I've already given my good and once good over. I should look somewhere else. I should start looking into where the murder weapon kept come, may have come from, so I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. With her dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure there are other some, area, ever some areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks, if they'll even talk to me, that is.